Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's spin into practice what we've learned. We're going to take the second and even the third derivative. Notice first with respect to x, then again with respect to x, and then with respect to y. And again, these are partial derivatives. So first we're going to take the partial derivative of the function with respect to x. The partial of the function with respect to x is equal to, notice that y to the fifth will become a constant. This becomes 4x cubed y to the fifth plus, and here again, y squared will become a constant, it would be plus three. The derivative of x with respect to x is simply one, so we get three y squared. Now we take the second partial derivative with respect to x, so the second partial derivative of the function with respect to x is equal to, here again, y to the fifth will become a constant, this is three times four, or 12 x squared y to the fifth, plus zero because this is now a constant, there's no x variable in here, take the partial of that with respect to x, you simply get zero. And finally, we're going to take the partial derivative with respect to y of the partial second derivative of the function with respect to x, which means we're going to take the partial derivative of this with respect to y, that means x will now become a constant, this is now five times 12, which is 60, x to the second power, y to the fourth power. And that's how we take second partial derivatives and even third partial derivatives. It's actually easier than taking regular derivatives. That's how it's done.